Welcome back everyone. Tonight we're photographing one of the most famous deep sky objects in the winter night sky. Tonight we're diving deep into the Orion Nebula with the 8 inch f5 imaging Newtonian and the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro. My name's Trevor and you're watching Astro Pilot. <laughs> Welcome back guys for hopefully a great night of deep sky astrophotography on the Orion Nebula, the crown jewel of the night sky in my opinion. Orion has always been my favorite uh, constellation and deep sky object. It's just a wonderful, wonderful target. Lot, lots of stuff going on in that area of the sky. But tonight I plan on imaging the Orion Nebula. Uh, it was also my first light with this telescope with just one hour of data. So tonight I plan on getting a handful of hours and really focusing on this region of the sky a lot with, uh, within the next couple months. But tonight we're using the Stella Lyra 8 inch F5 Newtonian along with the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro unfiltered. It's gonna be about 30 degrees Fahrenheit tonight, so pretty chilly, and which makes for good imaging. So can't wait. Um, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon right now and I have to go to work and I'll be back at around 10 30 tonight and that gives me uh, the perfect timing to start setting up on the Orion Nebula just above the trees so um, should work out good. I'm gonna be clear all night, moonless night, so we'll see how it goes. Just did a quick collimation check on the telescope as well with the temperature changes. It's getting colder. Um, things tend to shift around just a couple of fine adjustments and it's all properly spot on collimated now. So it should be uh, razor sharp tonight. So that's about all I've got for now. Stay tuned for the rest of the video and I will see you back here once it's dark and I'm back home from work and we'll get framed up on the Orion Nebula. everybody on the way home from work just about here and Orion is nice and high in the sky already it's uh, 10 30 on the dot and we're gonna get home and get up and running on the Orion Nebula first time this season Orion constellation. You can see Beetlejuice right there, Rigel down here, Orion's belt, and the sword, which is where the Orion Nebula M42 is located. This is the camera on the iPhone 15. I know it seems pretty grainy, but it's amazing to be able to film stars like this in video. So there is the constellation Orion the Hunter. guys back from work just got back in the observatory and Orion is pretty high in the sky right now straight up right there just above the trees a little bit and we are about ready to shoot it so let me get the ASIR turned on and everything plugged in this is the best part of having an observatory for sure being able to come home roll off the roof and get going in a split second. That's the biggest advantage of having an observatory like this. Get everything centered up. 
and turned on, mount turned on, ASI air turned on, and we'll get all that stuff connected real quick, and we'll be up and running. All right, here we are. Camera's cooling down right now in the observatory. As I've said before, this is my favorite, absolute favorite time of year when it comes to astrophotography and everything. It's uh, it's just great. Got the camera, I got the fan cooling off the mirror, even though it's pretty cold out already, just to get that down to ambient. It's uh, about 35 degrees. Orion, back behind me, may be able to see it. I see a star right there. But yeah, plan on shooting four minute exposures probably. I'm um, probably going to take some 30 second or 10 second uh, sequences as well to expose that core really well too because it's such a bright nebula. So uh, go ahead and get this camera cooled all the way down and I'll catch you once I slew to our target. So yeah. All right, getting our autofocus sequence up and going. Slewed just past Alman Tack in a uh, cluster of stars there to get focused. Then we'll frame up on the Orion Nebula after I take my uh, flats and biases, which is always fun. All right, guys, just past 11 o'clock right now. We're all up and ready to go take my bias and flats. Now we're gonna slew to the Orion Nebula right here. I'm gonna press go to. Alright, just slew to the target. The Orion Sirius EQG HEQ5 handles this load really well. Um, should be really good guiding tonight too. Seeing conditions are pretty good. Um, those stars aren't twinkling too much, so pretty nice seeing conditions. The transparency is excellent right now, so really good conditions overall tonight, and which should help out on getting a really razor sharp image. So here's our field of view of the Orion Nebula with the 2600 here. And uh, I'm very tempted to try my first uh, two panel mosaic because I mean, Orion Nebula is a big nebula and it just fills the frame. So I could try my first two panel mosaic and overlap it and get the Running Mad Nebula too. So maybe, or I could wait to do that later in the season, but uh, we'll see. I might experiment tonight with a, a mosaic, which I've never touched on, which I really want to get into to, with this rig to make some ultra, ultra high resolution mosaics. So we'll see. All right, everyone, look at that. That is only 30 seconds on the Orion Nebula with this telescope tonight. This is uh, bringing, out, bringing back memories from the first light almost a year ago. Um, with this telescope on the Orion Nebula. But this time I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot better result just due to uh, better collimation and uh, overall more integration. I might even be able to add that data from uh, last season to this, but we'll see. Guiding's going well at uh, around 0.7, which is nice, and taking my first four minute exposure right now. So we're gonna see how this shows up here at four minutes compared to 30 seconds right here. All right, coming up on our first four minute exposure on the Orion Nebula. There we have it guys, four minutes on the great Orion Nebula. All this faint outer nebulosity out here. See a satellite coming into frame, that's the it's like the geosynchronous or whatever you want to call it uh, path of these satellites always comes through the path of Orion this time of year but really really colorful those bright pinks and purples of the hydrogen 
Oh, just fantastic detail. Fantastic. So yeah, like I said, the Orion Nebula, the most photographed, or probably the most beginner-friendly nebula, and the most photographed nebula in the sky, probably, in the uh, in the astrophotography world. It's just such an amazing target. It's one of those really nice, bright visual targets that you can... That, that's what happened to me in the first time I saw Orion was through a pair of binoculars and at the time I didn't even know what it was and that's what got me into astronomy and astrophotography and look where we are now thousand millimeters focal length deep inside the Orion Nebula so we are going to get maybe about four or five hours on this tonight it's uh coming up on 11 30 sun rises at about a little after six so uh yeah these uh short winter days calls for short winter night uh long winter nights which is great for astrophotography so yeah that is about it the orion nebula all right guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and uh, end out this video i want to thank you guys so much for watching as you know me i'm an orion lover so uh this is my prime time astrophotography season for me absolutely love it out here in the cold those crisp clear nights looking up at orion the hunter it's great so uh probably gonna try some wide field 50 millimeter shooting tonight on the uh, dslr star adventure of orion so to kick off the winter season this is a great target to do so so uh yeah stay tuned for the final image i'll probably today just keep it on a single frame image maybe experiment with mosaics a little later on in the season but uh by the time you're watching this thanksgiving is probably over i uh, hope you ha hope everybody had a good thanksgiving that are in the united states and uh yeah um just great to be back out here shooting orion as it always is every year um orion the orion nebula it's uh, one of those famous targets that everybody loves and actually what got me into astronomy and astrophotography first time i saw it was through a pair of uh, binoculars at the time i didn't even know what it was and uh, that's what kind of got me hooked so 3,000, almost 3,000 uh, subscribers later here we are on youtube and i've come a long way so stay tuned for this final image of the orion nebula messier 42 and uh, as always thank you for watching astro pilot and until next time clear skies. Among the many glowing clouds of interstellar gas is one called the Orion Nebula, only 1,500 light years from Earth. The nebula appears from Earth as a patch of light, the middle star in Orion's sword. But it is not a star. It is another thing entirely, a cloud that veils one of nature's secret places. This is a stellar nursery, a place where stars are born. They condense by gravity from gas and dust until their temperatures become so high that they begin to shine. Such clouds mark the births of stars as others bear witness to their deaths.